we are talking about one of the most anticipated phones that have come out in the last, probably the last decade. But we are talking about Huawei, we're talking about the P40. The Huawei P40 Series 5G with Ultra Leica Quad Camera. Remove the unexpected with a simple tap. Break the boundaries of distance. Capture the best part of every moment. Even at night, you can discover stories within stories. Huawei P40 series, visionary photography. The specs on this phone are off the chart. It makes all others that we have reviewed on this show so far really, really pale in comparison to this amazing model. So without further ado, let's let's bring it out. It's, it arrived to me like this this morning and uh, I, I, it arrived to me like this this morning, uh, obviously without all the, the tone packaging, but I was really excited to see this. So, this is the Huawei P40. Now this is one that I got, it is, uh, it's a tester phone, as again, as a lot of you guys and girls that watch me know, I go with tester phones, I go with X display uh, stock, because you can save a ton of money on that. To buy the Huawei P40 Pro brand new was coming up at about six and seven hundred pounds on Amazon and over a thousand pounds if you go into the open market online. Um, I paid 225 pounds for this and it is super, super cool. So what do we get in the box? Well, normally we would get in the box, um, obviously your SIM pin, which we have here. You come with a little charger, which is behind me and it comes with this stunning phone. Now, just look at that. I mean, that is really beautiful. Why is it beautiful? Well, let's pop it out, the, let's pop it out of the box, shall we? I don't know how well you can see this, but the screen is actually curved. It feels really nice. There is some weight to this phone for sure. If you hit this off somebody's head, it is gonna hurt, but you tend not to use your phone for that. Uh, but it is a really nice piece of machinery, this. We got it in the nice silver, because that was the option that they had. I think it's called Frost. So again, it comes as standard. There is no head port jack, again, as a lot of phones, as we've covered, um, because they're doing away with that. But as you can see here, I mean, already you've got the gorgeous cameras. They look absolutely stunning. It is a nice piece of machinery. When we put it up against the Honor for Magic, in terms of size, as you can see that it is only slightly smaller. It is about the same width. So if you've got phone cases, for example, like what I have there, it is gonna fit in quite nicely and it's gonna do a good job. So let's turn it on, shall we? And let's see what's under the screen. Um, again, what I love about this phone, the on button is in the right place. It works really well, as are the sound buttons. Really sleek, really smooth, the frost look, it really looks nice. I have to say, it's a really beautiful piece of machinery. I have had a little bit of a play on this. The sound on it, already, if you followed the video that we did for the Galaxy P Pixel 6a, you know, obviously, my thoughts with regards to that. The sound was really horrible, very, very difficult to listen to. Um, the sound on this has been really good from what I have heard so far. I'm just looking to see if there are uh, any music things on there. So the first thing that you'll see is obviously the navigational system. You've got to start by pulling from the sides and doing all that kind of stuff. Um, you can go in and obviously change that, as a lot of phones come standard with that. So you've got your standard apps on there, you've got uh, your music. So we'll, we'll, we'll do the sound test now, let's see. Okay, so there's a, there's a song on here. There's a demo song called Dream It Possible, and we're gonna put it up to half speed, or half sound. Let's. That's decent sound. I'm gonna I'm gonna put it up to full volume now, okay? So brace yourselves. That is really clean, crisp, 
sound. That's how sound should be. That's what I've always loved about the Huawei phones. I think they're actually called Hawaii phones, but I always pronounce them Huawei. I enjoy Huawei. It sounds, it sounds more cool. Um, but honestly, that's how, in my opinion, sound should sound. It doesn't hurt. It's really nice. It's crisp. It's clean. It's beautiful to listen to. You've got a speaker down here at the bottom. And what I understand about this phone um, is real. Oh, here's something else. I said. I'll touch on this in a second. Um, but what I understand about this phone is yes, you have the speaker down here, but you've also got a vibration that goes on with the actual screen itself, which makes it really, really awesome to listen to. So they're using a lot of more technology here than uh, than they had before. Other thing that's really super cool I've just found out about this phone is it actually puts up the lyrics. So if you want to listen to your favorite song, I don't know how well you can see there, but it actually puts up the lyrics on there. If you want to sing along, you want to know the words, the lyrics, bang, you can sing along to that. Super, super cool, really nice, um, beautiful looking phone. So, on to apps now. For many of you boys and girls around the world, you will know that Huawei and Google had a bit of a falling out, shall we say. Uh, Google will not touch anything that Huawei have done, and Huawei, Huawei probably feel much the same. However, Huawei have done something uh, that's quite extraordinary. Rather than getting all boo-boo faced and upset with Google, what they actually did was to create their own app gallery. So. Just to put this in perspective for what it means for Huawei to fall out with Google, it means that you can't access Google um, either products or Google apps. So things like YouTube would be gone, um, Google Chrome would be gone, uh, gosh, whatever else that Google own is out there, Google Drives, Google Docs, all of those kind of things. So Huawei sat and they thought about this and said, what can we do? Because without those things, well, yeah, we've got Facebook, we've got Instagram, you know, we've got these other couple of different platforms, but what else can we do? So they created their own app gallery. Now I'm not on the internet right now, but I'm gonna. I'm just gonna see if I can pull this down just to see if there's anything that I can just show you guys and goes right. Okay, so I've, I've gone now for, for tethering hotspots. Um, okay, so what we've actually pulled down is a ton. So that's the trading apps. So if you can see here, we've got a ton of different apps that have come through, and yes, it's third-party um, apps that are there. Let me turn the volume down just to make sure there's no sound that's coming through. Um, but there's, there's third party apps that's come there, but so you can get all your favorites like TikTok and Instagram, uh, Alhambra, Open Browser, Telegram, uh, gosh, what else is there? Gcash, there's all your different games, there's Facebook, there's Instagram, I've already checked out. And again, as you can see there, what makes this phone super cool is not only that it's curved, but also that the curve actually, it follows the entire screen. There's not parts of the screen that just disappear in a wasted space. So it works really, really well. You can get all of your favorite apps on here. We've looked at apps, we've looked at sound, we've looked at the overall body. Now let's go into a little bit of the specs of this uh, particular phone. You are looking here at a, a 6.8 uh, inch phone, um, which when put into comparison with this one, which is, I think, maybe an inch bigger, there's hardly any difference in it at all. You are looking at a phone that has some really amazing uh, capabilities as well. You're looking at a phone that can store up to 128 gig, um, which is super, super cool. The gallery on this, we're gonna talk obviously a lot more about the camera because that's one of my main features of this, but the gallery is super easy to access. The phone itself is super easy to work. The refresh rate, as you can see, is instantaneous. It works like a dream. As soon as you put this phone on, it comes up with all your favorite things. It's got your games on there. It's got everything, your Candy Crush Dragon City. It's got op options for lifestyle as well, for local shops around you, for social, for maps. Um, because obviously not being affiliated with Google, you don't have Google Maps on it, but it has a thing called Petal Maps. Um, you've got Meet Time, all that kind of stuff. My Huawei email, everything that you need on this phone is there right at the touch of a button. One of the other things that I absolutely love about this phone and the Huawei brand is that when you go into uh, into gallery and you've taken your photos then you can actually create your video montage through there and it looks super awesome the other thing I love about this as well this was a photo I took earlier on this morning kind of goofing around um, but is the fact that yep yeah, there I am but can you see in the background 
how it's nice and blurred and again we like that because it means the focus is on the subject matter and not on the background and on the background distractions super cool absolutely love this um your headphones in terms of that it's going to be bluetooth as well like a lot of the new phones so the thankful thing is bluetooth is already set up and ready to go and this literally if you, if you are 35 45 55 65 and you're looking for simplicity in your phone maybe you're not as tech savvy as you know as, as, as your granddaughter or your grandson or whatever you know this is the phone this is an awesome awesome phone so we've covered some of the specs we have covered um, some of the nice features about it, obviously the different covers, how the handset looks, how it feels. It is noticeably heavier than the Honor um, Magic 4 Lite, um, but this has got a lot more, uh, in terms of variation, there's a lot more packed into this. One of the questions that people have been asking that I want to address right now just before we move on is what is the difference between a light phone or a light version of the phone and a pro version? Well, from what I could find out, the difference is very minimal. Um, if you are downloading, if you're uploading, if you're updating, anything like that, oftentimes when it's the light version, you can only do one thing at once. Um, with the Pro version, you can pretty much do it all like that and there's a lot more support that's there, there's a lot more uh, abilities that are there, there are a lot more customer support, there's a lot more that you can do with the Pro version, but for me, it was so minimal that if, if, if there'd been a version of, the, uh, of the, the P40 that was light versus the P40 Pro and the, and the price was marginal, like the Pro was like £400 more expensive versus the, the light, I would have gone with the light, um, but it was so, so close. Um, again, super, super awesome find and I thoroughly love it. So now we're gonna go on to the section which everybody loves. We're gonna now, uh, we're gonna zoom into the camera. This is where this phone blows everything else away because the P40 has got a camera that is a 70 times photo or tele telescopic zoom. I've never seen something like this. In this studio, where we're talking maybe about 13 feet by 12 feet, it is a decent sized studio but I actually ran out of room with which to zoom in. That shows you how incredible this is when you compare it to the Honor, and we're gonna do this of course in the, in the next video, the Honor Magic 4 Lite, which is a phone that I love. It feels like my child, I adore this phone, but that only has a zoom in of times seven. And times seven on, on the Honor 4 Magic Lite is quite grainy, it's quite, um, it starts getting very pixelated after the third sort of zoom in this doesn't get pixelated at all. The frontal camera on it is incredible. Um, we're gonna run. It is a phenomenal, phenomenal phone. I can't see enough good things about it and I've yet to find anything that's bad about it. Um, again, if you look on Amazon, there's a ton of different reviews that you can go through and read, you can check out for yourself, but if you really want to know the main scoop, this is where you come and you can find out for yourself. So we're now gonna put this to the test. You're gonna look over my shoulder so as you can see exactly what this phone can do, how it looks, and, and I think you'll appreciate it for yourself that this is something really, really special.